Hi. Guys, listen. I am being hoovered right now. Right now. I wanted to take a look because this energy is very poignant. And while we're in the muck of it, I want to share with you. How can you not answer? How can you not? Here's the thing. And this was all overnight, like 30 text messages, 14 voicemails, still this morning. That's not why I sound like this. This, my volume was off, I got sleep. This is 9.8 pollen count in Orlando and any of us that suffer from allergies, these two months we suffer because orange blossoms, whatever, okay, fine. So overnight the Hoover comes in. How do you deal with that? One second, I used to have a temper years and years and years ago. I worked on it plenty, 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 plenty. And although my daughter had never had it bestowed upon her, she has seen me have it in life. And one day she very quietly said to me, you know, but small, she calls me tiny or small. She goes, you know, small, you haven't had a trigger though. And she was right. Like I hadn't been, you know, dating a narcissist where, in the insanity is where the temper comes out. I hadn't been out in a place where somebody got me at, at, triggered. So then I knew I had more work to do and I did that and fine. Same with the Hoover attempt. Same with the Hoover attempt. There's no trigger unless they reach out. So we're truck, if you hear noises, Minnie is snoring like right here. If you're trucking along no contact, and that's what we do, right? We think we're good. We're on our fifth month, sixth month, six weeks, sixth day, sixth hour, whatever your struggle is. Snore. Um, and you think you're doing great, but they reach out and that's the trigger. That's when the work starts. And it can be tough. Oh my God, they're saying everything you wanted them to say. They're being everything you wanted them to be. It's everything you waited to hear. It's everything. This whole thing, though, has changed me. So when I get those, and I'm listening, I hear it differently now. Even yesterday, oh my God, there's a song from the 70s. If you don't know it, look it up. Baby Come Back by Player. Beautiful song, always loved it. Won't sing it because I don't want my video not to be played if there's music because I don't know if that's allowed. Baby Come Back, any kind of fool could see. I was wrong. You can blame it on me. Yesterday, I'm listening to this song. And I'm thinking, oh my God, it's a narcissist Hoover attempt. I'm sorry, player, it's a beautiful song and I'm making a joke, but not really. I look at everything differently now. So whether it's that song, his messages, a movie, a character in a book. Now I'm like, oh my God, they were just a narcissist. It's kind of killing the romance for me in a few different areas. So I have more work to do, but I clinically look at the topic differently now. So whatevs, I'll adjust. What I have determined is it's the zero to a hundred that is of particular note worthy interest to me. If somebody were generally pursuing you, they would be trucking along at a much more consistent pace. Yeah? It's kind of like Orlando weather. Trucking along, gorgeous, sunny, beautiful every day, right? Then all of a sudden in comes this massive, horrendous thunderstorm, lightning, thunder, buckets of rain. I'm usually right on my porch. I love watching the sky when that happens. Then it goes away again and the sun comes out. That was really some grunting from Minnie. Same with the Hoover. They come in like a thunderstorm. It will go away. And the reason you know it will go away is there's been other Hoover attempts. Whether you entertain them or not is not whether or not they go, I got to entertain it. He might leave. Think of past Hoover attempts. You might have let him in for a few days or a few weeks or a few months and think of how that ended. They always go back out just like a thunderstorm. So whether you I answer this or not, it will stop. It'll dissipate. I want you to think about if somebody were wooing somebody. We're going to use the example of Tom Selleck. Everybody knows him. Everybody loves him. And it's Tom Selleck. Do you know that when he was wooing his wife in the 80s and they're still together, he went to see cats over a dozen times. Cats, because she was a dancer. That's it. He fell. That was a big grunt. That's it. Now, that's, he didn't even know her. That's when he was trying to woo her. 
So you're going to see your, your, your narcissist is at a deficit. So if we were in caps, he'd have to see it 112 times. He's got to catch up. You don't just come in. You don't get 12 times seeing me in cats and get me. You need 212 times to fulfill the bucket of the deficit that they left. It's not the wooing like you see in consistent basis. Consistency, daily, weekly, monthly, however long it takes. Time and action are the only things that will demonstrate a sincerity of somebody trying to get to you like 12 times or over 12 times seeing cat and that's not even a narcissist that's not even a hoover that was just to pursue her and it's tom freaking Selleck, and he's still with her and it wasn't below him to put in that time he saw something that he thought would be beautiful with him he saw a person that made him feel a certain way and he pursued her i sound like i know him right but what I'm saying is, don't take the one little thunderstorm overnight, a hundred different attempts as any kind of consistency. That doesn't demonstrate time and action at all. Those are words. Words absolutely, absolutely have no weight at all right now for you or me with your narcissist. Words don't, no, 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 I'm sorry. No. That's a good one. Words, no. So that's how. Just keep listening to those words and think he said all that that, that stuff before. I wish you luck. This is that's the this is the muck of it. I wanted to share it with you.